H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys, how we are different from our competitors. 100% job oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kinfosys.com. Now, you know, once we, uh, after we correlate this particular script, you know, we are, we are trying to replay it. So here, uh, while replaying, it is talking about basically uh, uh, this 5, 6 and 3. I mean, it is basically talking about three correlation parameters over here. One correlation parameter it could not capture. And I am just guessing one of the resource is not properly downloaded over here. Why it could not download? The maximum time it took is uh, around 120 seconds. Even after 120 seconds also the, uh, the resource is not is not downloaded properly. So that is the reason. Okay, I am just I am just guessing that as the one resource is not properly downloaded over here, okay, as one resource is not properly downloaded over here, maybe the manual correlation two, the the one of the correlation parameter co uh, correlation two, is is not being capturing the correct value over here. I mean, it could not capture the value. I am just guessing. And moreover, can you all guess why it is showing this uh, correlation parameter values over here? It is giving the value for this manual correlation five, manual correlation six manual correlation 3 value here in the log file it is it is able to show what is the value is being captured from the script can you all guess why it is being showing the values over here any guesses from anyone did you understand the question over here Here, you know, I am asking one question, here in the log file, why it is showing the uh, values for these uh, parameters over here, okay, uh, this 3, 5, 6, why it is showing the values here in the log file, okay. If you all remember, yesterday, if you remember, uh, during the replay, as part of runtime settings, at least now, are, are you able to guess what, what could be answered here, at least now. Did you all remember, you know, I have selected log and if you all remember, I have selected external log and if you remember parameter substitution. Did you all remember? As I have selected parameter substitution, it is showing the values here in the log file. See, if I have, if I would have unchecked it, see, it would have not showing these values. I just wanted to see what are the values has been captured as part of the correlation. Now, if you all agree here, basically here, you know, correlation 3 here. If you agree here, correlation 3 is being captured over here. Okay. And we have 5. If you all of the here, we have 3, 5, 6, it is being successfully captured over here. 3, 5, 6 are there here. 3, 5, 6 is being captured in the in the response of this particular request. In the response of this particular request over here. Okay. 3, 5, 6 values has been captured over here. But however, this correlation 2 is being, it, it could not, uh, it could not act, uh, accept the, uh, it could not capture this one. Okay. And moreover, if you all remember, you know, this correlation parameter does not have a sequence. And uh, we had some more like, you uh, know, here in this, where is that? In the sign-in, in the sign-in action. Okay, in the sign-in action, we have uh, two more correlation parameter here. Okay, basically, I hope it, it did not reach this particular point. The script did not reach the, till this point over here. Can you observe here, we have a manual, manual correlation 1, manual correlation 4. These are the two parameters which are part of the sign-in. And it seems the script does not reach this particular sign-in because the script uh, here in the um, action itself it got failed during the action while executing the action uh, this particular action itself it is executing here itself the script has been failed okay it did not reach to this particular sign-in over here that is the reason it is, is as of now it is showing only these three parameters these three uh, parameters as part of this action action here. Okay, these are the three parameters of this action and this manual correlation too, I am just guessing that as resource did not properly download, it could not show this. Okay, 
I hope everyone is following this. I hope everyone now understood this why uh, why it is showing this particular value here in the log over here. Is it clear why these values are being showing in this particular log? Because as we have mentioned in the replay log here in the replay settings here in the replay uh, runtime settings that as we have mentioned log with the extended log and parameter substitution it is able to show uh, the values over here. Okay. Now however now here uh, we'll do one thing. Uh, replay again runtime settings and here uh, run logic basic thing time additional attributes here basically we will be having a setting where in which we can configure to wait for one eight seconds I'm just you know I'm just trying to see this This is run, random setting for me, right? Okay. Placing, lock, think time, additional attributes, miscellaneous. See here, everyone over here. If you all remember, you know it is basically uh, request connect timeout. Can you all see here? Here uh, we'll be finding some values over here. Okay. So step download the timeout is 120 seconds. If you all remember, just you no know, one minute. If you all over here in this particular log file, if you close over here, we come across. Uh, So can you all observe step download timeout 120 seconds it means it, it waits for maximum of 120 seconds over here so why it is waiting only for 120 seconds because here it is because it is uh, because of this one because of the runtime settings okay here in this particular request it is trying to download some particular file from the eb application so it took uh, 120 seconds even after 120 seconds also it could not download okay why it is taking only 120 seconds I mean why it is waiting uh, 120, why not it is going to wait for more than time? Because here by default it is being configured as 120. Now let me change it as, uh, let me change it as 240 over here. Everyone up there I am changing the step download time as 240. Now let me say ok here. Ok. Now let us try to execute this one. Now we will, first of all you know, if this error is uh, disappear, maybe in that case we can conclude that that manual correlation two parameter if the even in that case also I mean if the script is being properly executed okay after script is properly executed uh, and even if the manual correlation parameter two is not able to get the value in that case something wrong with our uh, program here I mean something wrong with our left boundary and right boundary okay as of now the request is not properly sending I mean sorry uh, the uh, the response is not properly getting up as part of response it is trying to download some file so it could not download that particular file. So first of all, let's fix it. Why it is showing this compilation error? Yep. I hope everyone is able to understand what I am trying to say here. Did you, did you get that particular point download, step download, timeout, that particular point, uh, uh, did every one of you understood that one?
oops, no, something went wrong here. Did I, did I, by, by mistakenly did I have done something over here? 80 client saying some issue, what is that? Invalid argument. What is that? Anything wrong over here in the 80 claim? Can you add up that? I don't see any different, any, I don't any, I don't find anything wrong here. Oops, here I know it should be left to LB equal to. That's correct, uh, no? Yep, thank you. Now you let me see. Again, let me try to execute this. Now see at everyone up here, how it is saying, at that line it is said that uh, notifying parameter saving uh, 3, 5, 6. It seems at that particular place, uh, this panel correlation 2, I mean what are the, uh, what we have, what are the dynamic value we have uh, for manual correlation 2, maybe at that particular place it could not capture that. Maybe you know it requires some more uh, files need to be downloaded from the server. So maybe this manual correlation delayed uh, uh, this parameter correlation parameter two. Uh, maybe that uh, that left boundary and right boundary maybe appeared in the coming uh, 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 part of the response over here. It still it is uh, you know trying to request here. Still this you know it is executing this 84th line only here. It means it is still trying to get some content from the server. Maybe I am saying that the uh, that whatever we have as part of left boundary and right boundary for this particular correlation parameter two it maybe comes in the coming uh, response here because here it, it is still downloading this particular page over here so now we have uh, mentioned 240 seconds as the timeout now we have given maximum 4 minutes uh, to download uh, some files if any phone file is not able to download from the uh, server so it will wait for maximum of 4, four minutes over here Now see it is trying it is it is trying to show some content here. And it is showing 120 seconds timeout 
maybe those are the one-to-one discussions for other things. Okay, you know, uh, and if you remember, there are the different timeouts. One is like a request timeout, response timeout, step download timeout. Basically, we were getting step download timeout. Okay. Of course, if you remember, you know, uh, EB dot com, especially on this particular mission, it was so slow. If you remember, yesterday it took around six minutes for me uh, to get uh, this EB homepage downloaded successfully. Did you remember that? It took around six minutes to download the complete EB page. Again, it is saying some step download time out and all. It seems even after four minutes also, it it could not. Oh, it was 11 minutes. I remember it as uh, six minutes 11. Okay. Let's see here. However, now we're now also just saying that this uh, no match found for this this particular correlation parameter because you know again this particular request is not being completely sent. Okay. So here, what actually I'm talking about? Now see here. Again, if you upgrade again, even after two forty seconds, also it could not download so and so file over here. Okay, it could not uh, download uh, some so and so file here. Let us do one thing. Okay, here it was trying to download some step here. Even after two forty seconds, also it could not download properly, and it is saying something error. Okay. However, now if you want to upgrade, you uh, know the other three parameters again. We would have copy. I mean, before we execute this, we would have done. We would have copy over here. I just wanted to see uh, this correlation, uh, the three correlation parameter values for it. Here, no, you can see here. You can find the uh, three correlation parameters over here. Okay, probably you can just make a note of these correlation parameters. I mean, these values are in a notepad. So during one of the execution, we got these values over here. Okay, probably now if you execute, now if you execute one more time for these three correlation parameters, it may have some more values. Okay, these three are working perfectly fine, but somehow that correlation parameter two is not working. Because it seems there is some some step download issue. Okay, I will do one thing. I will share this particular script with you. Just try to execute from your end. Okay. As of now, I know uh, something getting wrong with this particular correlation. I mean, uh, it could not uh, properly uh, hit the request. I mean, it could not uh, properly get the uh, some content from the server. Even after waiting for four seconds, also it could not download properly. What I will do? I will share this particular script with every one of you. Just try at your end. Okay, and more and more just to try to understand this concept one more time. I mean, just uh, try to see whether these values are really changing from uh, execution to execution. We will try to execute one more time. Now, sir, currently these uh, these three parameters have these values. 
Now, now we will execute for one more time. Okay. Now, whenever these three parameters is reached, whenever we see these three parameters, we will stop the script and uh, we will uh, we'll try to capture uh, the new set of values here. Okay. Whatever I am showing these three values over here, these are the current, uh, current execution value. Now, what I am saying here, we will execute one more time and we will try to get the new set of values and we will try to see whether these values are getting changed or not. And however, I will share this particular step with you. Please try to execute from your end. Just observe whether it is it has been executing from your end properly or not. And if possible, say if it's problem with the manual correlation two parameter, try to fix it. Okay, try to change the left boundary and right boundary. And however, let me know by next class. Okay, first of all, give it try to change the. I mean, if if it is really not a uh, Say if, if it has a problem with the uh, left boundary and right boundary, I mean, after it executes properly and still say manual correlation two parameter is not able to retrieve, at that time what I am asking, just try to fix the left boundary and right boundary for this manual correlation two parameter over here. Okay, now let me stop the script because it has been captured uh, these three values over here. I just stopped it because I just wanted to see whether these really these values has been changed from uh, uh, execution to execution here. Now everyone over there, currently it is showing uh, these three values over there. Let me capture, let me try to compare. Can you all observe? It's you know the this manual correlation to uh, the six parameter is same. But however, if you closely observe this particular this particular value, can you see uh, you know the last value is being like 874 here, double eight seven four. But here it is saying uh, 97726. Okay. And here also, if you the last uh, four values here, it is saying 6192. And currently, it is showing 3926. Okay. It seems this uh, this particular parameter may not be changing. But again, not sure. Maybe, you know, if, we, uh, if any uh, environment changes, maybe if environment changes, like in the sense, say, if we are, if you want to execute on um, no, uh, staging environment, and if you want to execute the same script on uh, some testing environment, Maybe an QA environment. Maybe these parameters may change. Okay, so it is okay to have these kind of values. Okay, but however, you can see the difference between this is the value which has been captured in the previous execution. Now this value has been changed over here. Okay, this is how we are capturing the dynamic values from each execution. It means these are the dynamic values for each execution the server is given. So we are capturing the uh, the whatever the dynamic values that are coming from the server into these parameters over here. Okay, and in the coming scripts, in a further script, we are being used. Uh, we have been used this particular correlation parameters in the script here. Okay, so this is all about correlation. And however, you know, even uh, when you listen to the class, maybe it seems to be like a, you know you understood the things, but the thing is you have to practice. Okay, everyone, please practice this correlation. First of all, I would highly recommend just start with the web tools application. Okay, start practicing on the web tools application. Once you gain the confidence on Web2's application, then proceed to the uh, any application like this. Okay, don't directly uh, uh, do don't do, uh, don't R and D on the real applications. First of all, try to get the confidence. Try to understand the con uh, uh, sorry. Try to get the uh, one minute. Okay. I'm uh, no. First of all, practice on the Web2's application. And then, first of all, try to get the confidence on the uh, concept. Once you have the confidence on the concept, just extend your uh, knowledge on the real uh, and the real application like this. Okay, don't experiment directly on the real application. You may get confused. Okay, this is my highly I will highly recommend this. And moreover, if you have any questions while practicing, please refer the videos. Okay, we have seventh, eighth, ninth, and even tenth video. I mean, today is the tenth video. Even you can watch today's video also, and but to, in today's videos, basically we did not discuss much about uh, correlation and the sense.
how to create a correlate uh, we did not discuss much about this okay you can watch seven eight nine videos for correlation more information on the correlation where it is being explained on the uh, e uh, web tools application and ev application okay and i will highly prefer you to refer the uh, sixth video and uh, sorry seventh video and ninth video i hope in seventh video we have been uh, discussed the web tools application in the ninth video we have been clearly understood these nine parameters whatever you see here in the uh, this uh, six parameters this sorry this six correlation parameters this six co uh, six correlation parameters has been clearly discussed in the ninth video okay in fine how you will be sharing this particular script try to execute from your end and just see whether it is been executing or not okay now our next topic is uh, uh, correlation rules over here Yeah, we have something called correlation rules. It is pretty simple topic. If you close the library here, you have some left boundaries and right boundaries. Okay. Whenever uh, you know you see the pattern, I mean, whenever you uh, you know understood the pattern here, let's say um, you are getting a dynamic value, uh, and here left boundary and right boundary is having some uh, pattern over here. What you can do here, you can define the pattern, and automatically while recording the script itself, you can. you can correlate actually that is what agni was asking one question like you know remove that uh, what are the uh, default correlation values i mean default uh, correlation rules and can you record one script okay agni uh, for your for your information we have never used the correlation rules so far here even for web tools application also we did not select the correlation rules okay there is something called correlation rules what correlation rules will happen will do it will automatically correlate the script while recording itself okay whenever it matches a particular pattern automatically it creates a, a correlation while recording the script itself whenever it it understood that particular sequence okay here we can create our own rules over here let me show what actually uh, we are talking about here go to record because here as i said this correlation rules will automatically apply and automatically correlate the uh, scripts based on some set of rules so it means it is a part of the recording options so here as part of recording options you will be having something called correlation rules come on Everyone up there? No, just up there here. No, these are called as the correlation, and these are the rules. Okay, this is a pretty simple topic. Only thing is, whenever you know, uh, say you have a left boundary and right boundary, and uh, you know you have a confidence that if left boundary and right boundary for an application is very frequent. Of course, here we are as of now we have created only one script, right? Here, as of now, for EB application, we have created only one script, and here we know these are the left boundaries and these are the right boundaries over here, right? This is the left boundary and these are the left boundaries and these are the right boundaries over here. Okay. Now, what I'm saying here, say for example, in the EB application, you are uh, have you are have you wanted to create twenty uh, twenty uh, virtual user scripts. Okay. Say you started with uh, script one and script two, and you realize that almost the patterns are same. I mean, say this. here uh, for this one say we have a pattern like this say we left boundary is this one and right boundary is this one you observe the same left boundary and same right boundary here in the first script and second script what you can do here so you can uh, once you have an idea on this particular application once you understood this uh, dynamic i mean these patterns over here you can create a rule here once you create a rule automatically when you start recording the script it automatically you uh, know creates a uh, this web underscore underscore save parameter uh, within the script itself 
Okay, you don't need to exclusively find the dynamic value, and you don't need to exclusively uh, create a correlation like this. If you remember yesterday, we spent a lot of time, and you know we created some six correlation parameters by finding out the dynamic value, and by finding out its uh, respective response. I mean, first we find out the response, right? First we found the response, and then we found the respective request, and uh, able to that request, we kept the uh, web underscore reg underscore save parameter. I hope everyone have uh, after remember this one. Okay, as I did, we found first of all we found the respect. First of all, we found the dynamic value. Based on the dynamic value, we found the re response, and based on the response, we found the respective request. Okay, after that request, uh, no uh, before. I mean, uh, once we find the request before that before to that particular request, we have kept web underscore reg underscore save parameter, and moreover, we also kept the, uh, we identified the left boundary and right boundary. Okay. You don't need to do all these uh, steps. Okay, once you understood the left boundary and right boundary pattern, you just create a rule. Automatically, that rule will take care about that. Whenever it finds that particular left boundary and right boundary, it will automatically create a script. It automatically correlate that particular uh, uh, value over here. It will automatically correlate uh, this particular value, and it it will be uh, mostly used whenever you have an idea on your left boundary, right boundary. Whenever you have uh, whenever you have idea on your uh, application i mean whenever you have an idea on, a, on your application and moreover whenever you have an idea on your left boundary and right boundary in that case you will be using this okay without uh, having knowledge on these things if you start using correlation para, uh, correlation rules may not be helpful for you okay first of all you should have an idea on your correlation um, uh, i mean at least you would have create one or two scripts and you have to have an idea on your uh, uh, correlations then only you can create the rules so that going forward uh, in the coming scripts you don't need to bother about the things it will automatically correlate but however in reality it may not be useful many times okay because here you know each correlation may be dynamic if you observe here, as of now here these uh, we have created six correlation almost six correlations are each and each and everything is unique over here okay so it's a, some people may be using but it depends on their application okay now let me show this one record recording options and if you all remember agni was asking one question so agni was like uh, no on select uh, correlation rules and can you create can you record a script on a uh, uh, web tools application right so actually we don't have any correlation rules for web tools application over here first of all we don't have any correlation rules for web tools application Even though we have a correlation rules for web tools application, I did not select any correlation. Can you all agree that I did not select any correlation rule over here? Okay. And say for example, you are working on this EB application and you found some uh, pattern over here. Now what you can do here is just create a new correlate new application here. Say so I am going to create some some new set of rules over here. So I am saying new application. Now here I am selecting application here. You can give the name here. Let me say eBay application. Sir, everyone of these I am selected eBay application over here. Okay, in this particular aspect of this application, I can create a new rule here. Can you observe a new rule? And here, as part of this rule, how exactly, where exactly you want to do? I mean, uh, no, where exactly you want to search for this pattern? What are the pattern that you are going to create? What are the pattern that you are going to create? Where you want to search? You want to search in in all of the body. I mean, all of the body of the text are links or form actions, are cookies, are uh, parameterized form field value means. It's a it's a kind of a parameterized, okay. And uh, uh, web underscore reg underscore add cookie fun function. So generally, it is better to select body, okay. Scan type regular expression or bounded base. Boundary base is preferable. Here in the boundary bases, you have to give your left boundary, right boundary. Say for example, you assume that we have created eBay uh, eBay scripts. Say we have twenty eBay scripts, and we have created two uh, two scripts, and we have correlated, and we observe a pattern. Just assume we observe a pattern that whenever we uh, know we are, the most of the pattern is this one. Uh, this uh, semicolon. If you observe semicolon, or the equal. Say that is the most of the times we observe. Now what you can do here, semicolon, or the Equal. This is the left boundary or defining, and the right boundary is semicolon over here. 
okay and parameter prefix means you want to have any prefix for your parameter i mean say here we have used manual correlation to here right say like that you want to give any prefix for this okay if you don't uh, if you don't select this prefix it will automatically create its own uh, name okay match case match case in the sense say here uh, is that you want to match like here we have ord in a lower case right you want to have only match lower case or is that okay to uh, if you have a capital capital letter if you don't select this one if you don't select this for this one it is going to select, it is going to match both uh, lower case and upper case okay if you want to exactly match the case you have to select this one okay and here uh, if you want to use uh, i mean if you have any specific number here okay so it is asking us to use the uh, you know ash but however we will not uh, as i said we will not use this correlation rules much but just just for your idea i am just creating one thing here and here uh, that's it okay here we have created a correlation rule here and i hope you can give a name also here so we can give some name here let me say ebay uh, launch some i am saying some name as ebay launch ebay launch 1 it means you now this is one of the correlation parameter while uh, while we appeared while launching the ebay okay like this you can create the rules so what is the advantage in creating the rules in the sense so you uh, once you create this rules for coming scripts i mean for the going forward what of the scripts that you are going to create so if you if it really come across if you really come across this kind of pattern if it finds any left boundary like this and if it found any right boundary like this it will automatically correlate while during the uh, during the recording of the script itself okay but however it is not preferable to use because sometimes you know this left boundary and right boundary might be same but the way of the uh, capturing the, i mean the internal value might be different so uh, for myself i would highly not recommend this and it also depends on the type of application and de it depends on the stability of the application okay and if you don't have a uh, you know much complexity of your the correlation probably yes you can use the uh, correlation rules okay you have defined this rule right what you can do here you can uh, export these rules it means say i want to uh, say for example uh, we have a three member teams okay in one of the team member it is been created and in other two uh, two team members i want to use the same rules so what you can do here you can click on export and basically it is one of the uh, what we say uh, certification question one of the load runner certification question here what is the extension of the correlation uh, rules okay so here i'm just selecting uh, eb application i want to just export the eb application related correlation rules over here now let me say export now here let me export uh, into let me say eb okay now show up there there is something called correlation files dot cor okay dot cor is the extension over here this is how you can export and say in your uh, in your team members machine what you can do here if you want to make use of the same rules you can just click on import and you can import the existing correlation rules over here you just select the you just select the file that you want to import okay let me say over right here okay you can export you can import and you can define a uh, new application new applications in the sense for your application itself you can create a, a correlation parameter over here and you can delete okay and these are you know if you, if you observe uh, for a few if you come across here there is and these are the some set of correlation rules these are the some set of correlation rules for oracle based applications okay for oracle based application there is just it is showing some set of correlation rules over here and moreover here if you select the like this it means you are making use of the correlation rules while recording the script just i am select these things okay let me do one thing now we have created this special parameter right now if you go and if you record one more time now in this in this case what it has to do now it has to automatically correlate uh, this particular uh, parameter at least this particular parameter because we have created one of the rule over here because of this rule while recording say now if you go and record on the ebay application 
it has to it has to automatically correlate at least this particular value okay this has to be correlated uh, i mean once you once you once you stop your recording okay once you come to this particular script you should able to see if I, you should able to see this web underscore web underscore say param this particular correlation thing you have to see before this particular uh, value here because we have we have created a correlation rule and we have selected it and now if you go and record that should automatically record as part of your script okay so you can save a lot of time and moreover it is it is recommended whenever you have a stability uh, stability in your application and i mean uh, whenever you have a confidence on your application that uh, no the left boundary and right boundary is uh, same across in that case you can make use of this but most of the times generally will not have a same kind of left boundary and right boundary of course if you have you can make use of the correlation rules it depends on the application okay this is all the correlation it, this is all about correlation rules let me include this particular thing over here now here actually no it is not uh, it's fine it all depends on application how oh, it's fine okay. till this point any questions over here any questions to this point now we will try to record a script um, with the correlation rules over here okay we will try to record the script with correlation rules Uh, yes, uh, yes, uh, Islam. Do you have that machine? Do you have a load runner with uh, ALM? Oh, okay, great. Actually, I wanted to show on the older version. That that is great. I will show in your machine. Oops! It seems now it is already logged in. You would have signed it. It's okay. We'll see. And can you guess? I think I already discussed. If I click on Ask Me Later, does it going to record as part of request over here? Any idea? Any guesses? Say here we we are getting this particular pop up. Say if I say Ask Me Later over here, does it going to re uh, record as a as part of request here? Any guesses? Did you get my question? See here we have here we got a pop up over here. Set up uh, Windows Internet Explorer 8, and here next ask me later. I click uh, no, I'm going to click on ask me later. Does it going to uh, does it going to rec uh, record something as part of this one? Any idea from anyone? <coughs> First of all, did you all get get my question over here? Fine. Here, let me say stop. Basically, here, you know, which is uh, in the EV application, which is already logged in, we'll see. Yep. Are you saying yes? I think. And what about others? At least say yes or no. If you really don't understand the question, say no. At least did you understand the question first of all? Forget about the answer. So, did you get the question? And Islam, Devan, Agni. Here, what happened? Uh, you know, when we opened the Internet Explorer, it was showing that uh, pop-up saying "Ask me later." Uh, it was showing a uh, pop-up saying that uh, "Click on next." I mean, sorry, uh, "Ask me later" or "Next." Okay, I was asking. I was asking one question over here. Okay, does it going to record that particular part? Yep. 
or me saying it may record that okay yeah, can you all agree here now we have created a rule here right we'll come back to that particular uh, question over here however everyone agree here if we close the agree here it is been uh, recorded left boundary here can you all agree here? this we have created as part of uh, uh, what we say uh, correlation rule right can you all agree here? once after recording itself it is automatically created this rule can you all agree this and if you remember even we did not use the even we did not use the um, uh, auto 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 correlation here right we did not use the auto correlation we did not use the auto correlation and once you, once we uh, stop the recording it will, uh, this particular logic is been showing as part of the script itself okay so already saying this uh, whatever the left boundary that we have defined it seems it got it so automatically it been uh, request uh, it, it has been captured over here okay scope body and it is also now showing some extra information over here okay basically we don't require this but it's okay some search filters in the sense where you want to search this particular uh, left boundary and right boundary basically your response will have some set of format, formats header body and all basically a response is going to have a header body so basically where exactly you wanted to find this particular uh, uh, dynamic value here we are saying that body okay you can just you know ignore it just you can comment these uh, these uh, things over here it should be okay but however if you close up here even without auto correlation also it is uh, it is automatically created this web underscore web underscore save param and here ex is uh, no it is been showing in the recent versions okay there is something called underscore ex it is been uh, it is been uh, showing in the recent uh, 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 versions i mean in the latest version we are able to see something called underscore ex Okay, it's a kind of regular expression. Yes, I hope everyone is clear with this correlation rules. Now, if we close the other here, I did not, I did not go for manual correlation. I did not for, I did not go for auto correlation. But still, my uh, script has been correlated. How it is possible? Because of the correlation rule, it is automatically correlated over here. Okay. Now let me start this particular script. And any questions on this particular topic? And the question that I was asking. Like when we open this Internet Explorer here, basically it was showing a pop-up saying that uh, we have a older version or setting up the newer version. Uh, ask me later, and click on next. There was a pop-up here. If you remember, when we open the Internet Explorer, it was showing a pop-up saying that ask me later, or uh, this one next. Okay. Basically, when you click on uh, next or ask me later, that is a pop-up that is coming from our machine. Okay. that is a pop up that is not coming from the server try to understand technically here what are the pop up that we are able to see that was the pop up from the uh, from our local machine because uh, now because of in the something in the background some process in the background it was checking in the newer version older version so that is the reason it was showing that particular pop up over here that is that is the pop up the not from the server that pop up is not from the ev server okay so it means it is not going to record that particular party if if you click on ask me later or if you if you would have click on next it would have not record it would have not record it it it, it could not uh, it will not record anything as particular uh, as part of that particular pop up because pop up is basically from your uh, local machine in a simple terminology whatever the pop up that we were able to see it was from the local machine so it is not going to record anything as part of that particular pop up okay if it is from the server it would have record but that pop up is from your local machine here okay yep if you have any questions please let me know if it is clear for you please let me uh, please let me know is uh, uh, please mention it as clear okay now we'll be discussing about uh, integrating with quality center it is pretty much easy uh, first of all let's try to understand the theory over here then we'll connect to islam machine and we'll try to understand over here so whenever uh, uh, you say uh, i mean whenever you wanted to integrate uh, with uh, quality center or alm
okay here mainly uh, two purpose two uses okay here uh, one is you can save the scripts and the prerequisite is if you want to understand this particular topic you should know the basics of quality center okay if any one of you don't know quality center please get in touch with h2k and i think h2k is, uh, you know connects uh, quality center classes every week okay so uh, save the scripts basically the main advantages of this uh, uh, when you integrate your quality your load runner with the with the virtual user generator with the load, uh, this quality center here mainly we can save the scripts in test planner here okay we can save the virtual user scripts in the test planner here and in controller we will be having something called in controller we will be creating something called scenarios probably we will be starting this controller in the next session okay so in that in that class basically in controller we will be creating a file called scenarios okay scenario in here in virtual user, user generator what they are creating they are creating the virtual user script right in view generator they are creating virtual user script in a similar way in controller we will be creating something called scenario the file name will be called as a scenario so we can save the scenarios also here in controller okay and then we can make use of uh, basically we can save the scenarios and uh, scripts test plan and then we can execute scenarios from the test lab over here okay so basically we can execute the uh, no i don't think so we cannot execute this scenario sorry for this we need to have something called performance center basically we can simply save these scripts here in the test plan that's it okay we can simply save this particular uh, uh, load runner scripts in test plan i mean uh, load runner scripts i mean virtual user scripts and uh, controller scenario will be saved here in the con uh, con uh, in the test plan of the uh, ALM or the quality center over here okay and more over here uh, the thing is there is something called performance center okay there is something called performance center for this basically uh, you know uh, probably will be having a kind of uh, idea in the coming process if you look at the syllabus actually I, I have done with my syllabus over here maybe here somewhere we will be discussing about this See, we will be having something called overview of performance center. As part of this, we will be trying to understand what what is this performance center over here. Okay. So basically, we can keep all the scripts here in the performance center. We can execute the scripts from the performance center. We will be discussing that in the coming classes. Now, let me make Islam as the presenter. Islam, can you accept it? And can you give me the control over here? Just accept it. No, no, I, I did not make yours. One minute. Where are you? Oops, it seems uh, he left. Me, Anu, Devan, Kumar, Marlin, Murat. Somehow, you know, fine. Maybe, oops, oops. One minute. Okay. Here, you know, Islam, uh, here in the go to me chart window, there is Geek keyboard and mouse. Under that, can you select my name? Can you accept? Or can you show your screen? And after that, can you give can you give me the control over here? There is a go to meeting window. There is geek, geek, uh, geek keyboard and mouse. Under that, can you select my name? Yep. Uh, if you observe uh, in the top section, there will be four buttons. Okay. The third one is geek keyboard and mouse. And under that, can you select my name? No, no. I did not ask you to make. Can 
you accept it, uh, Islam? I'm asking in go to meeting window in the top section there is something called game. H2K Emphasis provides world class online IT training, staffing, and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Emphasis how we are different from our competitors. 100% job oriented training, hands on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kinfosys.com.